Horses are a very popular thing to draw. If you haven't gone through a horse drawing phase yet, you will likely go through one at some point. This advice should help you avoid the common mistakes that are made while drawing horses, specifically their heads. Most of these mistakes come from not understanding the way horses are shaped. It's easier to understand when you use simplified shapes. For the head, I like to think of it as three different sections. The first section is the largest. The sides and top are quite flat, and each side has a rounded bottom. The ears come out of these top corners, pointing forward slightly. And you've also probably noticed the diamond-shaped bumps coming out near the top. I like to think of these as the eyebrows of the horse, as they go over the top of the eye. When a horse's head is at 45 degrees, you'll see the further bump really clearly. They are also both very noticeable from the front. Not including this detail on a horse drawing is like not adding eyebrows while drawing a person. It's just not complete without it. So now, drawing over this 3D model, we have this. The shapes only get simpler from here. Our second shape continues the downward slope of the head and begins to narrow as it goes down. The most difficult part about this section is not the basic shape, but the detail. There is a lot of visible stuff from underneath the horse's skin visible on the side here. I, uh, I don't know how to word that better. <laughs> to start, good to add just a couple lines to indicate that on each side. A reference will help a lot here if you want to get more accurate. Now onto the third section. The muzzle is the smallest of the three sections. The top slopes down, forms a point at the lip, and then there is the droopy chin. All that's left to add is the large nostrils in the mouth, which goes from the lip point and looks kind of frowny. The whole muzzle is very loose and saggy. It's actually quite adorable. So combining these three things, we now have a full horse head. But before we conclude, there are a few more things you should know. Number one, from the front, horse's ears are shaped like this, the tip curving in a bit. Number two, in order to keep your horse drawing looking three-dimensional, don't forget about the top and bottom surfaces. They are visible at literally almost every angle, except for the boring straight from the side one. And number three, adding markings to the face can make the drawing so much more interesting. Here are a few to get you started. 